This tutorial is designed to teach you a little bit about Office 365 Calendar and how it can be helpful for you as far as keeping yourself organized and sharing events with team members and other people. Again, to access this um, application, you are going to either go to the WCPS website, to the email employee email login link and log in from there, or search Office 365 login from Google and log in with your WCPS username and password. Once you're in, you're going to go down to the calendar application. Now if you've changed your home screen so that it brings you to say um, your email or to Microsoft Word or something like that, you just need to click the grid in the top left corner and you can access calendar from there. So this calendar is um, very collaborative, which means that it allows you to share things with a variety of different people in a very simple and easy way. So first of all, your calendars are always going to be listed here on the left. You have a main calendar, and that is just anytime you add something to the calendar through Office 365 and you don't specify anything else, it's going to save there to that calendar. Okay, so let's say first I'm going to want to add something to my calendar just my main this is how I keep myself organized calendar all I need to do is go to new in the top corner and it's going to ask me for some information about my event so I'm going to say outdoor school and you can add a location this can be very helpful if you are a secretary or someone that's in charge of organizing a lot of people because you can tell them exactly where to come and what room number to come to or you can just add, like I could say, Fairview Outdoor School, Clear Spring, Maryland. Okay. Now I could search Bing for this location and it would actually give me its address and I could link it right there so that I had all the information um, with, there with me. Then of course you need to start your time and date. Click here if it's an all day event. Um, your end date you need to select. You can make it private if you don't want anyone else to see it, which unless you've shared your calendar with someone, your main calendar isn't going to be visible anyway. You can choose to repeat it. You can choose which calendar you want to save it to. So right now this would just be my main calendar. You can see I have a calendar for my magnet team and a summer reading calendar, which is a calendar that someone created a few years ago and shared with me. Um, and then you can set a reminder if you would like and then you can show your status so are you going to be there or not you can add an email reminder so I could just say hey team just wanted to remind you that we go to outdoor school on Tuesday okay um, and you can do all your functions and insert emojis change your fonts all that kind of stuff there um, now you can add people to this event. So I could insert um, my fifth grade team members. So all I have to do is search for their last names. It's going to come up. Uh, Richie and then Leland. Okay, and so now um, this is going to get sent to them. Now, uh, this box, this checked box, s indicates that I am requesting them to respond to me. So I would imagine that most of you have gotten an email at some point in, t in time or another from a supervisor or someone else with a scheduled event asking you to respond with, you will be there, you won't be there, maybe, that kind of thing. That's where this comes from. Okay, now once I send this, it would just um, go to all of those people with this email um, attached to it. I could also add an attachment, so if I wanted to add the schedule or something like that, I could add it and then everybody here that I'm sending this to would get access to that. So that's how you add an event to your calendar. And I'm going to discard because I don't want to actually add it. Um, so a couple of other things that can be very useful. You can add calendars. So if you go here to add calendar, um, you can choose which kind you want. You can insert calendars from different places. Um, but I would typically be creating a secondary calendar. So maybe I'm going to call this one um, um, Hartley's class. And it would be a calendar where I would organize all of the due dates for my students. Now, um, when I click on the calendar, it's going to show it here. So right now, see how there's the, the different color of the calendars in blue and then Hartley's class and then the magnet team. So any event that would show up here in this color would be from the magnet team calendar. Any event in this 
color would be from the Hartley's class calendar. So you can see multiple calendars at one time. Um, interestingly, this is where you can see other calendars. These are ones that have been shared with you. Uh, in the last tutorial, I talked to you a little bit about groups. This is where groups can be really powerful because now right here in my calendars list, I have the environmental mental vertical team calendar. So I can very quickly and easily see what all my team has um, going on, what all you know events we have coming up, those kinds of things. Um, any You can share a calendar with anyone. So let me go back to the magnet team calendar and um, I'm going to go to share and I'm going to click magnet team. Now anybody that I punch in here is going to get this calendar shared with them. So maybe I would just search for my magnet team um, and now whenever I send this to them they will have access. I can choose if I want them to have full details or if I want them to be able to be an editor. So I would probably create them as an editor so that they could add events to the calendar as well. Um, you can change the subject if you would like and then again this is where you select which calendar you're actually sharing and then press send and it would go to them. So you also have the option to print a calendar if you feel like you need a paper copy of any calendars that you've created or that would be possibly shared with you, you could do that here. Um, so this is a little bit about the calendars application. Again, the best part about it is that you can share it with multiple people. You can have multiple people adding events to the same calendar. And you can also have the calendars organized by groups. So it's really a great way to kind of keep yourself organized, especially when you're in a situation where you belong to a variety of groups and have a variety of calendars happening at one time. Um, up next, I am going to talk to you a little bit about the newsfeed application um, part of Office 365, um, and we'll go from there.